media sync in the Note Flight Editor. In Note Flight Editor, you can also sync a score to a YouTube video or a SoundCloud file or uh, any, any audio file that's hosted on the internet. So if you find a link.mp3, you can sync it. Little known feature, this unlocks a plethora of amazing, engaging assignments for students because we are now taking, and it's, you know, most people use YouTube. I, YouTube is great. You take a YouTube video, you sync it up with a piece of music, and there's all sorts of things that can happen with, for students. So here's how this works. Um, let's take, uh, so I have pulled, this is straight from the Note Flight content library. I'm just gonna make sure we're all tracking of what I'm doing, because I know I'm moving a little fast. So I went to the Note Flight Learn content library. I went to this pop library, which is, has uh, 894 pop songs available, 846, sorry, pop songs available from Hal Leonard. You have pop, pop standard, rock film, show tunes, country, children, worship, pop, Disney. So I pulled It's Quiet Uptown from the Hamilton mixtape. And again, you have no flight learn. You have full access to this entire song directly from Hal Leonard, which is amazing. And now I found a YouTube video of the one and only Kelly Clarkson singing this live. So I'd like to sync this YouTube video to the score as an assignment. This is a great assignment to get students to understand timing and how this works. So let's do this. Um, I'm in view only mode. Why am I in view only mode? Da, 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 da. Oh, because I have not checked it out. I was in Violi mode because I need to create editable copies. So now I have my editable copy. You probably heard my dog bark. I think it's dinner time for her. Um, so now in the score menu down here, there's this thing called sync audio. So when you select this, I'm going to close out these menus. You add your audio source. So I just copy and pasted this YouTube video. It's gonna pull it up in the corner. There's Kelly. And now let's sync this. Now, power tip for syncing. Um, I'm actually gonna take the piano part off so I can just see the notation. It's a little easier because really I can hear the, the vocal. It's a lot easier to sync. So quick power tip, right? Sometimes I'll sync in scroll view too, but for this purpose, we won't get that crazy. All right, so now you can click this measure button or you can press the M key on your keyboard. I strongly suggest the M key pressing option. So I'm gonna hit play and all you're gonna do is tell Note Flight each measure. So you're gonna tap the beginning of each measure and you're gonna set the timing and you're gonna teach Note Flight to follow the live recording. This is a wonderful assignment for students to listen to a recording, especially when the artist is moving. I love using live recordings for this and have them feel the timing and read the music in real time. Really, really fun assignment. So here we go. Second measure. So I messed up, no worry. I'm actually gonna show you how to fix this because it's actually a really easy way to do it. I'm gonna remove this sync. Notice that, and this happens sometimes, the YouTube video was only um, a two measure intro instead of a four measure intro. No problem at all. I'm gonna sync it again. So I can edit the score. So ignore the cursor right now. So every time you sync a measure, it's trying to memorize the timing and see she has some. So I'm gonna keep syncing this. One of the lessons I learned is, you know, as a singer floats around the melody, uh, it's teaching me and like students, like you have to listen to that accompaniment and really sync it up, right? And you can just go through this whole thing in real time. I'm gonna, I'm gonna get to a cadence. Notice it's getting a little faster.
Kelly takes me to church every time she sings. And we'll stop. So I'm going to hit done here. I'm not going to go through the whole thing. You can hit done. It's just synced up to here. I won't go through the whole thing. But notice that was fun. Now, when I – let me go back. I'll bring both parts back so we can see it all. Now, I can start at any measure. When I hit play, and we can go into the mixer real quick, and I'll show you what that looks like. When you go into the mixer, notice that YouTube shows up as its own part. Right. So Note Flight's added this little YouTube thing and the synced media shows up. I can minimize this, right? And just start right on measure five and look what happens. There are moments that the words don't reach. And it's it's playing back directly synced with the score, right? So thanks for that. And I know you probably didn't hear me syncing it up, but we can follow along again. Now, what can we do with this, right? And the cool thing is anywhere I anywhere I start, it's lined up. The other thing that's really interesting here is that this could become a further assignment. The act of doing that is fun for students. What if I wanted to record along with this, right? Let's say I play trumpet, which I do. And what if I wanted to go, this is where it gets, let's put some stuff together that we've already done. I'm gonna go in the parts panel and say, you know what? I want this voice part to be a trumpet part because I can't sing like Kelly Clarkson, but I might want to play trumpet. So now I'm going to the score panel. I'm going to come up here. So notice I have actually turned this in to a trumpet and piano version that's synced to a live recording of Kelly Clarkson singing this, right? Now you hear the, you don't want to hear the, the, trumpet playback. So I'm going to turn this off so we only hear the YouTube, the YouTube, the YouTube playback. I did not call YouTube the YouTube. I'm not that old. Right? And I see this is here. So imagine now that I'm a student and I love this song and I want to play it on my alto sax, my bassoon, my whatever. And I'd love to do this. Now, this is a little low for trumpet, so I'm gonna do what every trumpet player does in the world and take it up an octave, which is, of course. So now, I can sit here and play along with Kelly Clarkson, right? So I can even start at this point. Now we can combine this idea of audio recording. So now, let's say I wanna audio record along with the YouTube video and play my little heart out. And let's just let this go and see what happens. And you're hearing this good. I started transposing. right think about all the musical skills that i just went through i took a live recording i felt it i synced it up i did transposition i did recording the whole thing the other option to take this one step further where all of this kind of collides is that let's say i wanted to practice improvisation like i want to learn to improvise and i know this song i hear it it's a very simple chord progression what if i took synced media and I decided to add a part, and I'll, you know, I'll call it a trumpet part, it doesn't matter what it is, but I'm going to call it improv, right? And so now, what if I wanted to like play around with a desk cant or like very real world, you're on a gig with Kelly Clarkson, my dream come true. And so I'll go into record, and I can again move this, that part name will change it. Yeah, if I move it, refresh the page. So now, what if I wanted to play along and record with 
myself and improvise with myself. So I started playing somewhere around here. I'm going to record to a blank staff, right? It's you don't have to have notes to record. You record to any staff you want. I want to hear the YouTube and I'll hear my trumpet part. And I don't want to hear the improv part as I play. So you set up tracks. Again, this is some 201 advanced stuff, but students can do this. And now I can just have some fun and just doodle. And it's recording what I'm doodling. So I'll let this go just for a couple measures. <laughs> doodling right and I love doing this for improv because this is actually recorded YouTube but I'll have students go back and say just listen to what you improv did you do you find an idea a lick two notes three notes that you liked oh you did notate it right and that's the game right to me this is the most fun engaging way to teach students like how to start safely playing around and doing some music and like having fun. Um, but also getting into a, a vibe of like, I can improvise, I can try things, I can just record myself playing around. If I don't like it, delete it. If I like it, I can notate it. And what happens is eventually they notate their own desk can and they learn to make up desk cans. So you could use this with content, you can use this with media sync. It's, it's a great, great technique. So syncing media, the pop songs, you could probably find a performance of any of them on YouTube, but you could take the Hal Leonard score play recordings for the concert band works. They could literally work on syncing up the actual like performance demonstration track of the publisher's, you know, uh, concert band to the concert band, the choir, all kinds of cool stuff here.